We are live stream. Hey, good morning, everybody. It's Monday morning. It's August 19th. Danny Grimes coming to you from a remote place somewhere off the uh, coast of Belize, private island. We're here with some friends. They do an annual trip every several years. It's our second time here, and that's why I'm out of my studio. So welcome to Recon, everyone. And tell you what, this is Monday, and there's always something special about every day. And let me tell you, I did some research. Today, it's actually, let's see if I can make sure I can not used to sharing screen, is, how about this, Don? It's International Potato Day. Now, who doesn't like spuds? Now, my question is, I even asked Google, and it, and it started smoking on me, how many different ways are there to prepare a potato? And there's bazillions, correct? That's right. what ties into recon. When we have conversations, there's bazillions of ways to go. However, what we're going to teach you are the kind of the models. Now, Raise your hand if you played with Mr. Potato Head and you start with basically the potato and then you put the eyes. And we're going to help you with the potato. Now, I want to share one more thing with you, a couple of different things. One is next Monday, we have celebrity recon. Marcus Heflin is going to be on. He's an amazing uh, bold coach, real estate agent, mega agent, and he is very quick with his wit and he'll be an awesome addition next Monday for celebrity recon. Now, uh, today is Monday. And we're going to have objections at the table. We'll have anywhere from a minute to two minutes. I'll show you the model here in a second. And I will stop sharing screen. I just don't have my studio behind me. And I wanted you to see something. So if you have your phones ready, I'm going to give you an idea, which I call basically my thought of the day. Now, this kind of hit me like one of those V8 moments. As we talk about, we had the weekend. We had, we had August 17th. And we had the basically NAR takes effect. And there's been so much talk about what? Seller concessions, seller concessions. Well, I'm out in the morning walk one, uh, one morning a couple of days ago, and I'm thinking, that sounds negative to me. Now, I don't know how it rings, rings to you, but here's the first thing that comes to my mind. And I had a great marriage, but however, it broke up. We went to mediation, and all they talked about was concessions. And it left kind of like a negative impression on me. Concessions mean somebody gives something up. So here, watch me now, watch me. And I'm not a lawyer. I don't know if there's any legal issue here. However, this is the way I think we should go. What if we talk instead of seller concessions? We talk about seller incentives. So now you're going to go through the, the buyer's agent's compensation as an incentive, not a concession. Do you think maybe that kind of shifts our mindset a little bit? Do you think it kind of shifts the, the, the perception of what we're attempting to do, because if you offer a buyer's agent compensation, is that not an incentive to attract more agents to your listing? So what are your thoughts about that, you guys? And you guys hear, heard it here first, and you guys are the first ones to run with this. Any, any comments before we go into role play? The great way Amy, I thought you were going to say seller contribution, but I like seller incentives even better. It's Denny, great. Uh, Denny, when, when this whole lawsuit settled on my net sheet. So the seller net sheet that I take and meet with clients, I actually changed it to uh, incentives. So for like buyer's agent incentives and seller incentives, I, I this was like four months ago. Well, gosh, I always want to get ahead of that and I haven't been able to do it yet, but still. Oh, I wasn't, I wasn't about... saying, I wasn't saying that as a brat. I was just saying. Oh, no, yeah, no, it, I'm, it, I'm kidding. It, it makes the most sense. <laughs> You know, I, I, I don't just uh, like there are certain trigger words and that's one of right. those trigger words where, you know, I'm, I'm going to concede what, whereas the, no, this is the, this is the buyer's agent incentive. This is what we're offering buyer's agents to show the property. Well, one more point here. And I think this is important because we're, we're adapting. This is week one, right? And, and I know you put seller incentives. The reason you might've put buyer. Why do you think I'm not saying buyer buyer agent or buyer incentives because i think it it still means it's their incentive the seller is going to say what well, what about me i think this is you know so just the way I, i'm going to roll with it i'm going to let keller williams international know and see if they want to kind of put, put it out there but except for maybe matt a few agents and, and myself you guys try this and see how it works good enough so uh we're going to follow the conversation model uh and i'm going to get out of screen share here in just a second uh, welcome matt good to have you i'm going to Stop my screen share, and now I see everybody's a Brady Bunch. So, Don, 
Who are our first contestants today? We have, we have Jenica and Luis. Jenica, you were not on my call, on my mastery call, and I went over the four outcomes. Did you know that? Thank you. Deanna told me. I know I had a client that day, so I couldn't be. I'm sorry. I'm excited to hear. Yeah, I'm going to put him in writing. Matt wants me to get him out in writing and, and gnaw on him a little bit. All right. Jenica, I'm at sorry. the table. And you are, oh, look at Louise. She has regular glasses on. Your eyes are so beautiful. Okay. You're at the table. Buyer or seller, Jenica? Uh, buyer. All right. You're at the table with a buyer and go. Okay. Hi, Louise. Thank you so much for meeting with me today. So after everything we went over, are you ready to hire me and get started? Louise, you're muted, darling. I would, thank you. I would just like a little more clarification on, on how you, you will be compensated. Sure, I'd be happy to go over that. So it sounds like you want to hear how I'll get paid. So there's a few different outcomes. The best outcome would be that I would be able to secure the a home at a price that you feel comfortable and my fee was included in that price. Would that work for you? Absolutely. Okay. So there are a few other outcomes that I did want to go over. It's possible that the seller will only pay part of my fee and then you would be responsible for the rest of my fee. It's also possible that we up the price a little bit to get my fee included. And then the last possibility is that you would be responsible to pay my fee. May I pause? May I pause right now? Sure. Okay. Awesome. Here's the thing I think we're going to have to work, we'll get our, our mind wrapped around. Did anybody, this remember, it's question based, listening, and enhanced. We're all here to learn. Um, what did she say more than anything? My fee. My, my, my. My fee. The hey, whole conversation, fee. Jenica, focused on what? Your fee. What we have to do is forget that. What, where's our value to them? Our yeah. fee is going to be a byproduct of our value to them. Matt. It's good. Yeah. Um, I mean, really, you you addressed it from the beginning. It it doesn't necessitate you to explain all, all the three things that's going to happen. So say, this is what I charge for my services. Um, and is, as long as I'm able to negotiate, as long as I'm able to negotiate for the home that meets your wants and needs at a price that makes sense to you, um, and, and add that into that, would there be any reason that you wouldn't want my help? Something along those lines, but it doesn't require us to explain like this. These are the 18 things that can happen because then they're going to get stuck and that's too much for them. Yeah. Do you think that it almost becomes, I don't want to say like misleading, but like now that the commission's removed, that's a big possibility that it won't be included. I mean, we'll do our best, but I think we were leading with, we're going to do our best to get it included. And then now there's this thing where it's like, it's possible it is hurting your negotiation if there's five offers and there's well, address, I guess address, that's address, struggle. Yeah, you, well, you address it as it comes up. So it's okay. like, well, what, well, cause if they, if they say, well, well, here's how we're going to, here's how we're going to do this, Jenica. I'm going to, I'm going to make an, I'm going to make an offer with the terms and conditions weighted in your best interest. Okay, and we're gonna we're gonna secure the home at a price that makes sense to you, and we're gonna negotiate my brokerage fee in the fee my brokerage charges for my services into that offer. How do you feel about that? Yeah. Okay. Okay. And then, Good. And then go ahead, Benny. <laughs> no, it's okay. Uh, no, I, that was just all right. So here, here, let me ask you guys a question. Let's take a step back. Have we ever practiced, have we, have we ever had the conversation and practiced the conversation of a seller saying, I can find someone to do it for less? Yes. Oh, that's like, every, you know, piece of cake, right? Well, if there's some sort of discussion on the buyer not wanting to pay part of a fee, that is identical to the seller saying, I can find another agent who will charge me less. What we have to do is basically then have a conversation and go through the same steps with only maybe a little bit of different words. And again, I'll, I'll cover that on the mastery. I, I do my best not to talk a lot on this call, but to give you more opportunity to role play. However, it is a buyer. And listen, if you're going to go out and buy pencils, do you need an agent to help you? I probably not. No. 
if you're going to buy something special, like your home is special, you need, it's not like there's only one of them. However, you guys, why do the best homes sell first? Because they're the best and the best deals go fast. And so if they want to get a rookie agent or do it on their own and only work with a listed agent, they are taking themselves out of being number one in line for anything. Can you articulate mm -hmm. that? So that's where I want us to kind of go and relax a little bit. We've got this conversation 180 degrees off from a seller. We're just going to have to move it up from a buyer standpoint. Mm -hmm. Don, who's next? Okay. Thank you. Guys. All right, Jen. Oh, it must be Louise. Yeah. Louise to Jennifer Keenan. Jennifer, right. you are the client. Louise, you're the agent. That's Jennifer that's is always yeah. on. Good to see you, Jen. All right. So All right, here we go. Buyer seller. Yeah. Can can you guys hear me? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Let's duplicate the scenario, Jennifer. So I'm the agent, you're the you're the buyer. And we've concluded the buyer consultation. And I ask you, uh, Jennifer, are you prepared to move forward with us? So I'm really close and I like everything that you have to offer. Um, but I was wondering if maybe I need to work with another agent since you're the listing agent as well. Should I get my own buyer's agent? That's that's a good question. What about what about getting your own buyer's agent is important to you? I just want to make sure that I get represented and that somebody is there for me the whole time working on my behalf. Is that something that you offer? Absolutely. We have we have different types of agency and, and this agency that you're speaking about is, is what we can do for you. And Jennifer, would you like to know what advantages there are to you? Absolutely. Okay. So, <clears throat> so I know I'm always going to answer my questions. When I call, <laughs> when I when I have a question on behalf of the buyer and I call the listing agent, I know I'm always gonna answer the questions. We're gonna have this information available to you. So you mentioned that time is of the essence with with your move. Um, mm. Would that benefit to you to know that, that we can handle things quickly since there are fewer chefs in the kitchen? Absolutely, so sounds like I'm, you work very well with yourself. I'm gonna call, yes. I'm, I'm gonna call pause just for a moment. I'm I didn't isolate. Well, you didn't isolate number one other than that. So I got that. I'm glad you caught that. Here's my question. I, I think I think we have to work on making sure we have clarity. Now, maybe I missed something because I was reading the chat. Do you, why does she want to not work with a listing agent? Do you know why? Well, I asked her what's important to her about that. So I did ask that. I did seek clarity. What did she say? What did she say? I wanted my own representation. Okay, so that's why you don't want to. Okay, so you want your own representation. What would that look like? You didn't go and say, okay, she's, she's worried about that. So rather than going through a litany of things, I call it putting sticky notes on the glass of all the things you're going to do. Well, what, what talk, let's talk about what do you want your agent to do for you? What, what, kind, what's, what are the qualities that you're looking for in the agent? And then she's going to go and say, well, let me ask you this. Is that what if you found... What if you found somebody who wasn't the listing agent that did, didn't have those qualities versus the listing agent who does? Who would you choose? Matt? Uh, you could have, yes, yeah, there there was one question you could have asked and you 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 were kind of like you were you were on the uh, the outside of it. You were circling around it. The the it's it's only a few words. You could have just said, How do you think that would benefit you? Because she's saying, I, I, you know, can, can I have, um, uh, how did you phrase it, Jennifer? Can you phrase it one more time? Um, should I have my own agent to represent me? There you go. Yes. Um, and I would just ask, how do you think that would benefit you? And then she tells me what she's looking for, which is what Danny just said. Do you see where I'm going with that? It's, it's in other words, you, you don't need to go into all of it. How do you think that would benefit you? She lists the issues or her concerns. And then you can either address those one by one or however, or you can say, well, what, hey, what do you understand about agency? And then you can explain agency. So yeah. that's all. Good, good feedback. And here's the thing you guys should write down is a good rule of thumb. If you're talking more, and this, and this I, I don't have it scientifically proven, 
If you're talking more than 60 seconds, it's too long. There should be a question in there somewhere. Matt, would you agree with that? Yeah, I, I I fall prey to that as well. Sometimes it's it in I one of my mentors said that if you can count to ten on your fingers before you stop talking, you've talked too long. <laughs> okay, all right. Danny, all right, can I ask going. something real quick? You may. Uh, on that scenario, what happens if the the buyer says, "Well, I just really my only objection is I don't want." A transactional agent. I want someone who's going to be uh, negotiating on my behalf. Then you just well, how certain are out, you, right? How certain are you that a transactional agent isn't negotiating on your behalf? Well, I would uh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. What's the probability that the you know, customer is going to know the difference between to describe what a transactional agent is? I would get into clarity. And here's the other thing, you guys, is this. Sometimes we, we can help ourselves by backing off and becoming a third person in the discussion. So, so Jennifer, let, let, let's just have a conversation. And, I, and I'm just person to person, human to human, whatever. Whatever you do, and may I make a recommendation of how I would recommend my brother or sister go about looking for a house. And then you walk them through the things they should be looking. Don't sell you. Remember the five mindsets of a buyer or seller. Number one is, okay, do, do we want to use a realtor anyway? And if so, what should we choose or how should we choose it? And then maybe insert yourself. If you're always coming from first person, you're selling instead of counseling. Make sense, you guys? Yes. I mean, it's, it's here's the thing. It says she doesn't want to work with a listed agent. What about the next home? She, the best thing for a buyer to do is hire the right agent. It doesn't matter if it happens to be the listing agent or not. Would you not agree? Because the probability that they're going to buy the house that, that agent has listed is probably 2%. Yep. All right, I, I, next. I always, I always ask them, hey, can, can, I, can I give you some professional advice? There you go. That's and exactly then, what I'm saying. And, and he did and it they, without they, counting to 10. Right. They say, sure. And I say, well, whether it be me or somebody else, it's always best. When you start looking for a property, just hire an agent, one that's going to be knowledgeable about the market and going to represent your best interest. Other than the, the the seller the seller incentives, that right there, you guys, you will be more powerful in your conversations when you just give them some professional advice without you having your hand in the kitty. All right, next. Jennifer oh, wait is a minute, the agent. Dr. Lauren. Dr. Lauren. Yeah. I was so worried about you, I was going to send out an APB. <laughs> Sorry, I, I took a little bit of a vacation. I'm unplugged for a little bit. Yeah, well, don't do it hey, again. All right, Jennifer. Hey, she, hey, she, was, she was out walking the track in Paris. Didn't you see her? I didn't know. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> All right, Jennifer, All Jennifer right, is the agent. Jennifer is yep, the agent. You're at the table. I'm calling Dr. Lauren. Talking to Dr. We're Lauren. at the table. Yep. At the table. Go. Go, Jennifer. Good morning, Lauren. Thanks so much for the opportunity to see your home and talk to you about listing it. What has you wanting to move? Um, well, we're looking to go to somewhere we can get all four seasons. It's a little too hot around here. I love that. How soon do you want to get there? Um, it'd be nice to get there before Christmas. That's very good. Well, I would love to come see the home in person and tour. Are you available this afternoon at two or tomorrow at six p.m.? Jennifer, you're at the table. Oh. I thought we were. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. I we were at the. <laughs> I'm All at right, the, table at the table now. Hey, I'm here. So the mm -hmm. next steps that we have is some paperwork to move forward. And have you worked oh, with an oh. agent before? Wait a second. Wait a second. Are we are we here to work together? Are you going to tell me about the price of my home? We are absolutely wanting to work together. So before I get to the price, I want to dive into a little bit more of your experience with realtors in the past. Have you worked with an agent in the past? Um, we worked with an agent to buy this home. Oh, great. Absolutely. What was that experience for you? What was important for you? Uh, um, well, communication was great. They were pretty quick. We had to you know, get moved pretty quickly. So appreciated that they were able to help us find a home within a week and then took care of all of the uh, contingencies and explained some things to us. So that was helpful. Um, yeah. Absolutely. So you've seen my marketing plan. Do you have any questions about what we do to market your home? 
well, how do you think you're going to get me the best price for it? Absolutely. That's a great question. And so we want to come in at the right price and expose it to the most amount of buyers immediately. And so with our system that I've just shown you, that makes perfect sense. I have great experience doing that. And I feel that we can get your home sold very quickly for the best price. Okay. So you can guarantee that price and you can get started today. So I don't guarantee the price. I actually put the, I put it in your, um, Oh gosh, I'm messing up. <laughs> I put the uh, pricing in your lap for you to choose. And I want to show you the comparables and then look at it and decide if your house is better or worse. That way we price Time. it perfectly. Time, Jennifer. Great energy. Matt, I'll let you go first. Um, some of the similar feedback that we've given before. Um, it's a lot about what I'm going to do. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. You know, I've, I'm confident. Um, versus when they're saying, you know, uh, uh, what are you going to do to get me the best price? Well, what, what, what would you want? What, what specifically would you like to know from me about how we work? What price were you hoping? When you say the best price, what do you mean? So mm -hmm. it's, you're, you're not becoming combative, but you're shooting at a target that you don't even know what it is. So yeah, Matt, hey, hang on with that. Matt, hold your spot. Hold your spot sure. there. That, that goes back to the last role play and a lot of the ones we're doing. This is where it's going to take you from, you know, remember the game shoots and ladders. It's going to take you up a lot of different notches. If you stop wanting to like go into some sort of presentation and dig into questions, what does that mean to them? What does that look like? It's, it's kind of like, and again, I use this in the analogy a lot. If you're the Uber driver, you actually need a number, an address to get to, not just take me to Boston. When she made that comment, that's kind of like being general. So write down in your notes, get specific, get clarity. Keep going, Matt. Um, but it, it's just, it's more and more of that though. Not, and and a, lo a lot of us have this tendency to feel that when somebody says something, we need to go on this diatribe of what we're going to do. And we don't. The goal is to isolate their concern because when they say something, they typically mean something. So it's what when you say that, what specifically are you saying? What is most important to you that you're that you want to know from me? And then you only have to address that one thing, not the 17 things that you created by just starting to go on a tirade. Got it. Um, remember, we do a lot of listening. I don't know who heard this. Um, so raise your hand if you heard this. Uh, Dr. Lauren talked about, you know, she you asked a great question, Jennifer, what is she looking for? Hey, communication. She got my last age. got back to me fast, et cetera. Do you remember where Jennifer went next? Didn't even talk about that. Went right into, well, the, marketing. saw my marketing plan. Any questions about that? So when they bring something out of their mouth, that is a clue. Like maybe you want to hover on that just for a second rather than going on to the next chapter of the book. So good job, great energy, Don. We're moving good today. What's who's up next? It's going to be uh, DLG and yep. who? Brad Ashley, right up in Minnesota at the table. Ashley, you're up. Ashley, you're a buyer seller of DLG. So she's going to be a buyer that I've previously worked with, and now getting since the change in the law, having to re go over the new um, paperwork to sign. Love it. You're so at an old the table, client, but I'm currently working with. Yep. You're, at, you're at Starbucks. Okay, go. Yep. Oh, uh, sorry. Hey, Ashley. So, you know, we talked about the new um, changes that have been taking place. What questions do you have for me specifically about uh, the new paperwork? Yeah, well, and I appreciate you working with me before, and I just have been in contact with other buyers, agents. So I'm just concerned about signing this, that I would be exclusively working with you when I haven't given those other agents a chance yet. Mm, okay, I can I can appreciate that. And other than that, is there any other reason why we can't continue working together? No, so you're saying that I have to make a decision of who I'm gonna work with before I see any more houses? Well, yes, so the way that this has worked, I mean, you and I have been going on showing tours over the past couple of months. You know, we've been working together. We've even sat down and written up some offers. And so moving forward, we just have to sign new paperwork that basically outlines exactly how um, our relationship works and of course how what my how my professional fee is being paid 
Um, so there's a slight change to that that we have to review. Okay, and when I sign this, then how long does that keep me in contract with you for? That is completely up to you. We can cancel the contract at any time that you would like. Um, most of my clients find it helpful when we work together for at least three months because, you know, it takes time to find the home, get the offer written up, all those different steps we've reviewed already. So, but again, it's completely up to you. Is that something that you're comfortable moving forward with? So if you show me a home, then I'd be comfortable working with you. But what if I have another agent show me a home? Can, I, can we do it where it's just strictly based on which houses you show me? Well, ideally, um, most agents, right, we all pretty much have access to similar MLSs. And so I would be able to show you any home that you're interested in. And so agreeing to work with me allows us to, allows me to go to work for you and advocate for you. I don't know that someone gonna, is necessarily going to do I'm that. I'm going to call pause. Uh, I'm going to call yeah, yeah, pause yeah. right there. Okay, awesome. Um, that would have been a great, and again, I'll just some quick feedback here is that when she asked, and I'll, that's why I want to pause it before I forgot about. It. Well, can I talk? Can I work with other agents? Wouldn't that have been a great opportunity to ask her? Well, well, tell me why that would. How how would that help yes. you? How would that benefit you? Hundred percent. I mean, benefit. so so imagine you're dating someone, and you and you go to the person you're dating. I want, I'd like to date other people. That's that's kind of a red flag, right? The mm -hmm. other thing, the point that comes up in here is you're going to have buyers in this position now. Now that they know, and you've been working with them, and now it's post August 17th. And right. what, what is this thing all about? Well, it's just not take 30 seconds here. Well, when we were working before, when we were looking, looking at houses, did you understand how, how the compensation was working? Now, what's the probability you're going to get a yes there? Not strong. 50, 50. They're not really going to be able to, and what's happened is now we have to, this is when you go back and have something, I don't like sign, but to go over the new law, the new disclosure is this is just outlining where the how the money is, how the fee is being paid, and whatever. And by the way, nothing has to change from how it was. But it doesn't have to change. I mean, you can basically uh, work off what, what the seller is going to going to do, and you could actually baby step it into a longer term relationship. So when when you go to them, it is a good thing. Hey, look, the law now we have to kind of disclose what's going on. Just need to upload the paperwork. Matt, any other? We have a, we only have, we have time for one more. Sorry, I'll let you get the last one. Okay, Matt? Yeah, I was just going to say you covered it, Danny. There's not much there. Okay, good job. Good to see you, Lauren. All right, Brad. Oh, no, I'm sorry, Don. Who's up? Don, 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 Don. You're muted, baby. Sorry, Ashley's at the table with Brad, the client. All right. Let's go. Ashley, go. Ashley, are you all right? Can I hit you a glass of water? <laughs> yeah. Now that you've yeah, seen yeah. everything, are you ready to move forward with me today? I'm sorry, say that again. I apologize, Ashley. No, nope. now that you've seen everything, are you ready to move forward with me today? Um, no, I'm not really. I'm concerned about the uh, concerned about the pricing. What are we doing here? I guess you're. Um, I'm. The, I'm the. I'm the seller, right? Yep. You can assume that. I'm. Con I'm concerned about the price. How did you come about this price that you suggested we list it at? Okay, you're concerned about the price. Other than the price, is there anything else that's stopping you from working with me today? Well, also. Um, your fee, but it, that's, I'm more concerned about the price because I know there will be a fee involved no matter what. So uh, yeah, how'd you come up about this price? Okay, so what I hear you saying is what you walk away with is important to you. That is correct. Wait a minute, hang on a minute, hang on. I'll let Brad handle this, but you said walk away. Did he ever say walk away? No, when he All said right. price, when he said commission, that's where, okay, you're right. So well, you can, Brad, I'll let you, I'll let you close this up. Then I've got the, the last thing, but when, when you're dead, when you're done, Brad, I mean, uh, Brad, Matt. Uh, yeah. So it, you actually, you're, you were on the right track. It, we just have to be intentional with our words because we only get one chance to use them. So I, I would have, as soon as he said price, I know Denny likes to do the other man, but when they say it, capture that moment as well. Hey, what what about the price? 
Okay. Just stop. Like, and, and then you can do the, the other than that, right? What? Hey, Brad, really quickly, you said something powerful there. What about the price? Okay. Awesome. And, you guys, I am so proud. Yeah, Matt? No, no, no. I was good. And then I was just going to say, and then carry on. Got it. You guys, I'm proud of you. Monday morning, how many agents are up early like you practicing? Your business is going to reflect your amount of commitment. Remember, this is International Potato Day. A lot of ways to do the potato. And don't forget the main point. If you, if you log on late, we're no longer suggesting you say seller concessions. What do we suggest to we? Maybe what you say? Seller incentives. incentives. Sounds a lot more positive. So thanks for being on. Love you. Mean it. Knuckle bump. We'll see you tomorrow. Benny signing out from Belize.